Blue 100 back again with another video and again it's been a while since I posted a video and the reason why this time is because I had some technical stuff going on with the video I made last month before I posted it publicly. I won't get into what happened but if you guys want to know then check out my community post I posted two to three weeks ago before the Beyblade one. Anyways I just came back from Japan and it was my second time going there and it was 10 times better when I first went there in 2015 because I actually went to places this time rather than staying there for one night. So I wanted to show you what I got from Japan. So I'll show you uh, these first because I got them at the same place or the same building. So the first place I've been to in Japan was Akihabara. Now if you guys don't know what Akihabara is, it's this whole town or place dedicated to anime which is pretty damn cool so that's one of the reasons why I went to this area because I've heard a lot of good things about this place so I decided to check it out so I got these four things at the Akiva building and uh, these three uh, things at this place called the hobby station basically what they sell in this store is uh, OCG cards or TCG as it's known in North America and uh, Beyblade Burst Parts, which is pretty cool. So I got not one, but two different Yu-Gi-Oh cards for a decent price. And I got one Beyblade Burst uh, layer and one from the Akiba gift shop, which I'll show you later after I show these off. Now you might notice my setup is a little different because I'm in my sister's room and I have a lot of stuff to show you guys. So that's why I moved my stuff to my sister's room and also the space is a little bigger than my small table but anyways I will show you what's in this first or I'll show you the Yu-Gi-Oh cards first so here's the uh, packaging so they sell not just Yu-Gi-Oh cards but Pokemon cards magic cards and some other card game I forgot what it was So, I'll show you uh, what the cards I have in this one first. So, I got Gold Sarcophagus for 180 yen. So, that would be around 2 to $3 Canadian. Cyber Twin Dragon. Cyber Dragon Dry. Cyber End Dragon. Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Power Bond. The Claw of Hermos. Finally got this. So, now I need is Eye of Tamias, Legend of Heart, and the Three Legendary Knights, as well as... Knights of Destiny. And I also got Harpy's Hunting Ground, Triangle Ecstasy Spark, Dinah Hero for Hire, uh, Harpy Queen. This is the uncensored version because, well, look at the artwork. Ours here was censored. Uh, Hayabusa Knight, uh, Judgment Dragon, really nice. Cyber Angel Dakini. Cyber Harpy Lady. This is also the uncensored version because it has the pointy uh, Cyber Shield boobs. And I also have uh, Silent Swordsman, level 3. Infernal Fire Blast. Harpy Dancer. Jinzo's Returner. Uh, Vision Hero Witch Rider. Paladin of Dark Dragon. And Dark Magician Girl or Black Magician Girl. This is also the uh, uncensored version because. Uh, in Japan they have the star in the middle or the emblem and ours has the red emblem and also it shows part of Dark Magician Girl's cleavage so there is that and I got both of these in English and Japanese because I really like the Japanese cards and I do have some uh, Japanese Yu-Gi-Oh cards but I only have like four or five. I'm not too sure. But I got uh, Harpy Lady Sisters, Crystal Beast, Amber Mammoth, Elemental Hero Marine Neos, Amulet Dragon. Finally got this. So we got Dark Magician and Tamayas. It was only for 50 yen. So I think that's almost close to a dollar. I might be wrong. Uh, Destiny Signal. And Red Supremacy for Red Dragon Archfiend. I really like the border of this card, so I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I think this is 
a rare card, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I know I already have this, but I decided to get it again, but this is Dragon Revival Rhapsody, and I got the Arcana version of Dark Magician or Black Magician, which is pretty cool because this was never released here in North America, so we only had the uh, Yugi version of Dark Magician. And I heard this is pretty rare, so I decided to get one myself, and I got it for a decent price, actually. So there's that. And I wanted to get more Yu-Gi-Oh cards, like from uh, the movies and from the show, but I decided to get something else. And also, I already got a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh cards when I went to Japan. Now for this one, like I said, it is a Beyblade Burst part, and it is the new Wolborg. Yeah, got it for 500 yen. So I believe it's like seven to eight dollars. I might be wrong, uh, but yeah, I finally got the new Burst version of Wolborg. And yeah, I know I'm missing the disc and the driver, but I'm okay with it. I'm still gonna buy the whole Beyblade again, but this is only for like uh, a backup just in case something happens to like the stickers or the actual layer itself. So it's nice to have like a spare. So I'm just going to put these on the side. Now for this one here is a uh, 10,000 yen bill but it's obviously fake but it's pop team epic yeah so we got peepee me at the back and pop go in the front so that's why i got this because i find this really funny so there are the stuff i got in uh the akiba building I think it has a different name, I'm not too sure, but I just call it that. Also, if you guys didn't know, uh, Pop Team Epic was my favorite anime of last year, so that's why I bought that. I also got one more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! related thing, it's uh, Sisters of the Rose, this is the Japanese version. I will get the English version sometime, but I decided to get the Japanese version instead. And I got this at 7-Eleven. Uh, so we got Harpy Lady Sisters, this is also the uh, censored version, or censored, uncensored version because of the pointy boobs. Uh, Cyber Angel Edithin, also the uh, uncensored version. And I forgot the name of this, hold on, let me just check. Okay, so this is called Luna Light Perfume. Yeah, because uh, like I said, I don't have the English version, so I don't know the names of some of these cards uh, this one's called harpy oracle which is pretty cool and it's the one in front of the pack yeah and this one here uh, I forgot the name of this hold on so this is called Luna light serenade dancer so those are the cards I got from this pack So there's that, let's just fix this. I also got three magazines, so I will show you the first one I got. I got another issue of V-Jump, and this is uh, March 2019. And at the back it shows Biohazard Re 2, or Resident Evil 2. See, uh, March 2019. And it promotes uh, Jump Force, so we got Yugi, Luffy, Goku, and Naruto, and like the ones I got uh, in 2015, it comes with not one, but four cards, so one from Yu-Gi-Oh, one from Dragon Ball Heroes, and one from, or two from some other anime I don't know about, uh, but I know this is a Synchro Monster, and this one is of course Super Saiyan Gogeta from the Broly movie. And 
yeah, I haven't opened it yet, but I'll probably open it right after this video, so. There's Jump Force, or not Jump Force, V-Jump, I'm sorry. And I also got this uh, little poster when I bought this, because they were giving it out. It's this movie called Arrow of the Ryan, or I think this might be the subtitle of the movie, I don't know. If anyone knows this anime, just leave a comment down below. But it came out on February 15. Yeah, I don't really care about that and don't know anything about that. And I also got this at the same place where I got V Jump. It's called uh, Book Sansado. I think that's how you pronounce it. But I got this uh, Beyblade Burst magazine, which is pretty cool. I got it for like 750 yen. And yeah, it's basically like Beyblades from Beyblade Super. Or Beyblade Burst Super Z or Cho Z or Turbo. And yeah, it also comes with this limited edition layer. Like, I thought it would be an actual, like, Burst Beyblade, but no, it's just a useless layer that I don't even care about. But yeah, it just shows you, like, the blades from that season. And yeah, I don't really know about the season that much. I only know some of the Beyblades and the characters. So please do not spoil the season because I will watch it when I get to that part on my Review Rant Thought series. So we got uh, the new Valkyrie, Cho Z Valkyrie or Super Z Valkyrie. And the new Spriggan, Cho Z Spriggan. And uh, what is this? Buster Excalibur. And Geist Fafner, looks pretty badass. And Hazard Kerbius, which doesn't even show Kensuke in this, but I don't know. And this one is uh, Dead Hades. So this is the second iteration of um, Hades. And Orb Aegis, this one here. And this one's Air Knight. And yeah, that's really about it. Oh yeah, it shows the new Beyblade Burst game, which I did see in Japan, and it also has a manga chapter, which is pretty cool, and this as well. So there's the Beyblade magazine, and I also got one more magazine, but it's not from the same uh, store where I got these two. I got this at 7-Eleven, it's Core Core Comics. Uh, March 2019, number 491. At the back. Uh, now, if you guys are unfamiliar with Koro Koro Comics, basically it's like the kids' version of V Jump or Shonen Jump and some of the others. And this is where uh, Beyblade, Pokemon, Zoids, uh, Doraemon, Yokai Watch, Kirby, and some other animes. This is where it originated from, so, yeah, and the reason why I know that is because I was in the front, and I found out about this in 2016 or 2015, I don't remember, but, yeah, like with V-Jump and the others, it has a crap ton of pages, and it's also bulkier than, oops, than V-Jump. We got Beyblade here at the back. And I think this is a sticker of some sorts. Or you can actually get this limited edition uh, Chosy Spriggan. And I uh, just need to show you this. And yeah, this is the new random booster. And it comes with the new burst version of Drigger. And I did see this when I went to Japan and yeah I was about to get it but then again it is a random booster so I highly doubt I would get Drigger right away so I would probably get one of these like uh, I'm trying to look at the actual layers of these so I think this one is Legend Spriggan, uh, Bloody Longinus, Z Achilles, Spriggan Requiem and Winning Valkyrie. I mean I do like these uh, alternate colors of these blades but the one I care about is this one 
and they're most likely going to do uh, Drasil F, but that'll probably be sometime in spring or summer. And here is the next and newest Beyblade season right after Beyblade Burst Super Z, and this is called Beyblade Burst Gashi, and I just uh, posted this on my community post, and I think I'm actually the first one to uh, show that to you guys. But yeah, this is the new and uh, next main character after Aiga. And yeah, to me, he doesn't even like look like a main character that belongs in Beyblade because usually with the Beyblade main characters, they have Spiky here, like with Tyson or Takao, Jenga, Zero, Vault, and Aiga. Like, you would think he's a secondary character or a side character, not a main character. I don't know. We'll find out in April. So, yeah, we got Pokemon here and uh, Zoids. Yeah, Zoids apparently is still going on in Japan, which is pretty weird. Oh, yeah, this is where Duel Masters originated from, which is pretty weird. So, yeah, Dorymon here. And like with uh, V Jump, it does come with a card. But only two cards, sadly. Got this uh, Kirby sticker, I think. So we got one and two stickers. And yeah, this is a Duel Masters card, and it's pretty big. And yeah, apparently Duel Masters is still going on in Japan. Well, it died here in the early 2000s, and apparently it's not even a Yu-Gi-Oh ripoff. I don't know. Apparently it isn't. And I got this uh, Pokemon uh, Decorate and Protect Cable from Big Camera. Just need to show it to you. Here it is. It's Piplup. Just gonna move this here. And I also got this at uh, a place called Mandarake. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's this place where they sell old, old toys from like back in the day. And I went to that building because Beyblade Geeks went there. Shout out to Beyblade Geeks. And I heard they were selling Beyblades there, but not just any Beyblades, the original. Yeah, from Season 1, V-Force, and G-Revolution. As well as some Burst Beyblades. Yeah, just those two generations. No Metal Fight, no Zero-G, nothing. Just the original and a few Burst Beyblades. So I decided to get a Beyblade from there because I wanted to leave Japan with at least one Beyblade from like the original or even burst or whatnot so I got this yeah Wolborg MS and I'm glad I finally got this Beyblade because it's one of the few HMS Beyblades I wanted to get and it's another Beyblade that's not just the original uh, characters Beyblades and this is actually the final Wolborg in the Wolborg series before that came along. So I just need to show you a little comparison to it. I wish I had the whole parts, but oh well. I'm still gonna buy the whole thing anyways. So I got this for like 8,000 yen, which is almost $100, but it was still worth getting, even if it was $100. Apparently when I bought this Beyblade, uh, it was never opened or even touched. Yeah, so it was just left in that glass shelf for like years until I finally bought it. So I'm glad that I got a Beyblade, not just any Beyblade, an original Beyblade from Japan. So expect an unboxing of this sometime, not after this video, but just whenever. And I also got this before I left Japan because uh, the airport I went to, it had a Pokemon store. so. I decided to get some more Pokemon stuff. So I got this Piplup plushie, which is pretty cool. And I was originally going to get more stuff from the Pokemon Center, but I only had a few yen left, so I only just got this. Sucks, but oh well. And uh, when I got the Piplup plushie, uh, they gave me this uh, Pokemon sticker, and it's Rattata, for the new Pokemon game, which I haven't even finished yet. And I got this at the Disney Store in Harajuku, and it's the Stitch smartphone ring. I got it for 1,200 yen, so it's like $16 Canadian. 
I also got this uh, shuriken in Harajuku as well for 350 yen. It's not real, obviously. And I also got these sunglasses in Harajuku because they resemble Cyclops' glasses from X-Men, so that's why I bought it. And it looks pretty cool. And I got this Godzilla keychain from uh, Big Camera, the same place where I got the uh, Pokemon cable protector. And yeah, it's from Godzilla, Mothra, and King Ghidorah, Giant Monsters, All That Attack. I think I got this for 300 or 400 yen. But there's that. And I also got one more Godzilla related thing, and that is this. Yeah, I got a Godzilla 2000 figure from uh, Haneda Airport. And yeah, this is like my first Godzilla figure like that was made in Japan. And it's a Bandai creation figure. Is that what they call it? I don't know, but... Yeah, I just need to turn it, sorry. So, yeah, it's really cool, and I'm happy I got another Godzilla figure, because I only have, like, a few of them, and I don't have, like, something like this. So, yeah, there is that. And now to show you the Gashapons I got from Japan as well. So I got not one, but five different Gashapon toys. Yeah, so I'll show you what they are. So I'll show you this one first. It's this uh, Beyblade Burst layer. I think this is from uh, Beyblade Burst God or Beyblade Burst Super Z, I don't know. I don't know what the name of this Beyblade is, but if you guys know, leave a comment down below. But the reason why I bought this is because this was in the same line as uh, a recolored purple version of Dragoon F. And I thought I was going to get it, but I didn't. But, oh well. But I did see it when I was in uh, a hobby station. But I decided to just get Wolborg instead. And I also got another Beyblade Burst uh, Gashapon. If I can open it. There's the thing and I don't remember the name of this uh, Beyblade but I know its name is Phoenix but I just don't know the rest of the name just gonna put this on the side I also got a Zoids uh, Gachapon keychain I don't know what the name of this is but I decided to get it because I never got something Zoids related in Japan or anywhere else I did collect the figures but I only got like three or four of the Zoids figures back in the day and the last two I have here are from Kingdom Hearts so I'll just show them off to you so here's one I got from the Disney store it's based on uh, Atlantica from Little Mermaid I got Sora Donald and Goofy and the last uh, Kingdom Hearts Gashapon I got was this one here. It was in the same line as uh, this one. So from Kingdom Hearts 1, we got Sora, Riku, uh, Kairi, Donald, and Goofy. So yeah, that is it. That is my Japan haul and I got a lot more stuff than in 2015. Anyways, that's about it for this video guys. Make sure to check out my previous video and make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Link will be in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you will never miss an upload. And make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and like always, I'm out. Peace.